Hello, victorious ones. How are you doing? I hope everyone is having an amazing, golden, victorious day in the Lord. So I'm coming on here because earlier I heard in my spirit the conversation between God and Cain. Genesis 4 tells us that God went to Cain, right? And he asked Cain, where is your brother Abel? And Cain said, I don't know. Am I my brother's keeper? And God said, what did you do? Because your brother's blood is crying from the ground. And so the question I have for you today is this. Parents, where are your children? Where are they spiritually? Where are they emotionally? Where are they right now? It's time to go to God to find out where our children are and pray for them. We are our children's keeper. And, and, and I, I love the word keep because in the Bible, it means to protect. The Lord is my keeper. So parents, it's time for you to intercede. Pray for your sons and daughters. Pray about, you know, their souls, their minds, will and emotions. Pray, pray about their spirits, their bodies. Pray about their relationships. Pray about their school and education. Pray about their jobs. Pray about their, their um, future. Because God said, for I know the plans I have for your children, saith the Lord. Plans to prosper them and not to harm them. Plans to give them hope and a future. It's time to intercede, prayer parents. It's time to get on Mount Carmel and pray until God answers by fire concerning your sons and daughters. Because I decree and declare that our children shall be taught of the Lord and great shall be their peace. Where are they? They are established, rooted and grounded in the house of the Lord. I decree it. I declare it. That God is pruning them. God is planting them in his house and God is pruning them and they bear righteous fruit. They are in the will of God. I decree it. I declare it. They are in their right minds. That's where they are. They are in the will of God. According to Jeremiah 29 and verse 11, they are in God's heart. They are inscribed in the palm of his hand. The enemy cannot have them. Where are your children? We are their keepers. They will not die. The enemy will not kill them. We cover them with the blood of Jesus. They will not be buried prematurely. They leave every dead thing right now in the name of Jesus. Why? Because we are the watchmen and women. We are the whispers, fending away the wickedness from our children, covering them with the blood of Jesus, calling for God's angels to be in camp all around them. We know where they are. And we know them by name. And God is saving them. God is calling them up out of darkness into his marvelous light. They are kings and queens of the Most High God. They wear the royal priesthood, the holy nation. Come on. They wear the royal crown. God is giving them beautiful ashes. We know where they are at because God is showing us and showing us how to pray on repeat.